Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Memes here, Islamic Inc. and Dijon Trader. Right now, I'm back on Pumped Fun, a place where you can buy and sell newly launched Islamic coins at just 5k dollars in market cap. And the agenda for this video is I'm going to tell you the top 5 mistakes that people make when buying and selling those Islamic coins on this website, Pumped Fun. And this video is going to save you hundreds of dollars, guys, because as you know, Mistakes are costly and I'm really really surprised how much people trading those meme coins just lack the basics guys. So once you know how can you avoid making those 5 mistakes, you're going to have an instant edge over the other traders and Pumped Fund really is a player versus player type of um, platform. Before we start though guys, I want to shout out my Telegram calls channel because we're dropping banger calls on there. Like today I dropped 2 calls on there. And one call did a free X and the other one did 5X. So guys, definitely check that out. It's free and it's made for you, for you as a community to win. So we can win together, guys. And let's start this video now. The first thing I want to emphasize is actually going to be the most important one, but actually the most simple one. Is guys, I see too many people asking me how much money, how much budget should they start trading those coins with? And I see so many people starting with one Solana, two Solana, five Solana or ten Solana. People are start starting with hundreds, if not thousands, and the crazy ones are dropping literally five or ten K. And I see this literally every single day. People asking me or people being, you know, I mean, asking in the discords or telegrams, asking that question. And I think that those guys are insane. And if you want to start trading meme coins and public fun, you should start with no money, all right, guys, with no money. What you should do is just open some coins. You should just look at the charts. You should get familiar with the game. You first want to accumulate some knowledge by actually watching and consuming some videos on YouTube, for example. And as you can see here, I'm trying to open some nice charts. And what will happen is if you see enough charts, if you see enough coins, you'll see like you'll have eyes for the charts. You'll be more confident trading those coins. It doesn't work that you just uh, start do doing this one day with a big budget and you win. I want to emphasize that it's highly risky and those coins are highly, highly volatile. So what you should do and how I started myself is take notes on a paper or in your notes application and you just simulate like you would actually be in the trade real time Except you don't put any money in, but you imagine that you would. In your notes or in your paper, you write down you're starting with 100 um, mental dollars, for example. And then, then you're saying, I'm aping 20 dollars uh, whenever you want, right? Let's say we aped right here, right? And we write this down. We put it, uh, we write down the market cap we went in, and then guys, you actually look at the trade, you're focusing as if it was real, right guys, it's as if it was real. And then once you want to sell, you sell for a profit or loss, but the point is to track those trades and imagine that they were real. And you might think this is dumb, but you can't even imagine guys how helpful this is because the psychology is real. And once you're confident, once you're tracking your um, trades, mental trades, and you are seeing that you win more than you lose, you should try out putting some real money in, but only when you're confident enough when you win more than you lose. You don't have to win 100% of the times, you just have to win more than you lose. And then what you'll do is you'll put in 0.1 Solana. That's right now just $15. And the reason for that is if you can't turn uh, 0.1 Solana into 1 Solana, what makes you think you can turn 1 Solana into 10? Quite literally, guys. So you should start as low as you can once you did the mental trading thing. You start with 15, you turn it into 1 Solana, you turn it into 150. And then once you're confident enough to put in more, you will put in more. But if you can't turn small amounts into big amounts, don't even put in the big amounts guys too many people start big and you should start small and you should start with no money in the first place now the second mistake i see people making a lot is neglecting the psychological levels 
of the coins. And as you know, guys, the crypto, the market is psychological and people are emotional. Let me tell you more about those psychological levels that I'm talking about. And I'll actually draw them for you here as well. So that it's extremely clear to you guys. The public fund coins are being launched at 5k dollars in market cap, only 5k dollars, which makes the first resistance 10k dollars in market cap. And the, the, the thing here is that people have to take profits sometimes. And when you usually take profits, for example, do you ever say, I want to take profits at 37k? You usually just say or think in your mind that you want to uh, sell or even buy tokens at 35k or at 40k. I mean, you can buy anytime, sure. But when you're selling, you're usually thinking that I want to sell ideally, like my target is 35k. Uh, when to sell or 40k and that's why uh, psychological levels are round those are round numbers we want to be looking at as the next one for example is 20k there is also 15k sure and there is 50k and there is 50k as well which means that people like to sell coins before radium because it's psychology again people know that coins or radium as we can see with this example as well it's by the way completely random coin uh, I just opened this chart, but it doesn't matter. So people have to sell those coins before rating because they know the coin is going to dump and that's psychological. And that's why we usually see uh, people dumping at this level just before radium. Many coins don't make it to radium, even those are almost at the radium level, but people have fear. They are fearful that the coin won't perform on radium, but now you know guys, those psychological levels you should look at because you'll have an edge over other traders who have an advantage. The third mistake lots of traders are making is trading the first wave tokens. So let me now find some for you guys and let's take a look uh, at how awful this idea is. Uh, in this current dry market, I want to say, because I actually used to make videos about the first wave strategy before, but right now, I don't think it's a great strategy. Right now, slow mooners are the way, but guys, take a look. This is the classic first wave chart. Each candle is five minutes, as you know, and this coin has been going up so far, but you have to know what happens to most of those coins, literally 99% of them, is sometimes, and uh, not sometimes, harder to say sooner or later, they'll just drop down in volume and die out pretty much just like this, guys, because those coins are really, really volatile and the first wave tokens barely survive. So just have the first wave and then they die down and never, never recover. Those coins are extremely quick to go up and extremely quick to go, uh, to go down as well and to die. And you have to ask yourself this, guys. You can ride the first wave as long as the trend, the narrative, the community, the developer, as long as you see those bullish signs. If it's a combination of those bullish signs, Sure, you can ride the first wave of the token, but right now you can see this coin is at 15k dollars in market cap. For you to make a 2x, it would have to go to 30k. Now, is the risk worth it if this first wave can die down absolutely anytime? I would say it's not because those coins, the first waivers, are really, really big pumps and dumps. Let me find some for you guys. If you could find some, you can see here this coin is having its first wave. But it's already going down and once you can see much of selling pressure those coins really like to go down because people think alike and they have fear that everyone will sell the token and everyone will end up selling the fourth mistake that people are making is not looking at the volume you always got to look at this trade section and you want the coins to be having transactions literally seconds apart as you can see with this particular coin which is a random coin just as an example to show you what good volume looks like. If you see no volume for minutes, for hours, for days, this coin is dead, guys, because if there is no volume, no attention, no eyes of the coin, there most likely isn't even a community around the token and no real interest. So volume is a sign of interest, and if the coins have volume, they tend to go up. If they don't have volume, it's then to go down, and if they consolidate at some kind of a level, they usually go down as well. The chart and the volume, as you can see, the stairs up, 
as you can see down here in volume stairs that are going up the price is as well going up then you can see the stairs going down and the price as well is going down and you might think it's common sense and yes it is common sense guys but so little people pay attention to this and you want to be predicting the volume so you can quite easily predict if you see a spike in volume the coin is going up it's not about them going up at the same time but you're trying to make a prediction uh, based on a possibility whether the volume is going up and if it's going up the coin most likely is going up if it's going down the coin is most likely going down you can see here again we see a little stairs going up and once you see these stairs you can think that the coin is going up and most likely it is and then once you can see the volume becoming more shallow the coin once again is dipping you can see it works really really well but it's all about predicting whether the volume will keep going up or down so you always got to look at some spikes in volume or the drops in volume and here you can see clearly that there was no volume you can see this spike right here which i'm trying to circle uh, you can see this is a spike in volume because it's bigger compared than the volume before this even bigger as you can see this is a candle right here and if you saw this spike you can say that the coin will continue going up because there is volume now and as you can see here another spike and another spike and the price has continued to go up as the volume has gone up but you could have already told that for example here or here you can see the volume went up those two volume candles you can see the price working in correlation with the volume but now guys if the volume will become shallow if i'm gonna see uh, a, a pattern like this here if the volume is gonna die down what is going to happen to the chart most likely is also the same pattern so you always got to look at the volume it's the most easy indicator the most simple one you can get it by just searching volume but guys it's extremely extremely valuable now the very last the fifth mistake that people make a lot which puts you at an instant disadvantage is trading here on pounded fun you know placing your orders here you put in your solana you, collect, you connect your wallet you buy and sell here but the issue with trading here is that it's going to take noticeably longer than if you were using photon or a bot like trojan which i have both in the description and in the pinned comment by the way but you should always use the bot trojan or photon because you're gonna fill your orders way way quicker transactions will not fail like here and guys you don't understand how important that is those coins are extremely volatile they can go up like like 5k dollars in market cap in literally a few seconds as you can see here extreme candles and you want your transactions to go through and when you place them because if the transactions place later you're gonna buy the coins for more expensive if you bought in at 10k but your transaction went through only at 12k you're paying 20 percent more i think it's a great time to wrap up this video i showed you the top five mistakes which i hope you'll avoid making those are really really important guys i want to emphasize that a lot and guys if you enjoyed this video join the telegram link is in the description as the top comment and if you like this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe and come back for more